Hi everyone, it's Alan here. Today I will be making the vegetarian version of a very popular noodle dish in southern Vietnam called Hồ Tiêu and the dish is called Hồ Tiêu Chai. I was in Cang Thơ a few weeks ago to experience the Vietnamese floating market for the first time. I had to wake up at 5 in the morning because the market ends at 7 a.m. It was so exciting to see people selling almost anything on their boats, from fruits to vegetables and all kinds of foods. When I was traveling in Cang Thơ, I was so lucky to get a chance to visit a Hồ Tiêu factory. It's just a home factory, but it's a very interesting place uh, where I get to know how the Hồ Tiêu noodles actually made. Cassava and rice is ground in this kind of machine into a white butter that looks like this. Then the batter is spread evenly on a piece of cloth stretched over a steaming pot. Cover the lid and steam for a minute or two. Then the crab is removed and transferred to rest on a bamboo mat. It's really cool to see how they use rice husks, uh, which are the coverings of rice grains, as fuel to burn and heat the steaming pot. I was really tempted to give it a try, but the auntie didn't seem to be so convinced about my culinary skills, so she didn't let me. Anyway, the crepes are then sun dried for half a day, then they will remove them and stack on each other. The noodles for hotel is a little bit thinner than pho, um, but then thicker than bún. It's quite chewy, clear and also sticky because um, they make from tapioca flowers. To turn the crepes into noodles, just simply let them run through the cutting machine like this. That's it, the noodles are now ready to be packaged or consumed. After leaving the hotel home factory, we decided to head back to the floating market to enjoy a real bowl of hotel from this Mekong Delta. As I saw the hotel boat, I called her over and ordered one bowl of hotel noodle soup. Then they prepared my hotel bowl right in the shaking boat. I was a little bit skeptical about this cooking condition, but to my great surprise, that were one of the most delicious and well presented bowls of hotel that I've ever had. You can click on the picture or follow the links below to learn how to make this non vegetarian version of the hotel. So good! And today I will show you how to make the vegan version of this dish too. So let's begin! Helen's recipes. To make the broth for our vegetarian soup, you're gonna need one apple, one pear, two cups of corn, one daikon radish, and some leek. It will be really nice to have some preserved or salted radish. You can buy these in a package at Asian store. If you can't find them, it's okay to skip. For the toppings, you're gonna need some fried tofu pups, some mushrooms of your choice. Today I use straw and oyster mushrooms. You can also use butter mushrooms, shiitake or any other kinds of mushrooms that you like. You can buy dried hotel noodles in a package like this at Asian store too. Firstly, peel the vegetables and fruits and cut into about 1.5 inch cubes or chunks. For one pot of hot tea, I use about 3 preserved radishes. I cut half of them into 1.5 inch pieces. Then I cut the rest into thin strips and chop finely. Also cut the white part of the leek into thin strips and then chop finely. Fill a large pot with 4 liters or 16 cups of water. Then add all the cut fruits and vegetables. Also add 2 small cubes of rock sugar, a tablespoon of salt, and the cubed preserved radishes. The preserved radish adds a depth of flavor to the broth. Add some oil in a frying pan and fry the minced leek. 
When it turns golden brown, transfer to a small bowl. Repeat the same with about 3 tablespoons of minced garlic. With a little bit of oil left on the pan, quickly stir fry the minced radish. Lower the heat and season with a teaspoon of sugar. Then transfer to a small bowl. Then add some more oil in the pan and stir fry the mushrooms. Season with a tablespoon or two of light soy sauce and a teaspoon of mushroom seasonings, which is optional. Stir fry for about a minute and you will see the mushrooms produce quite some liquid. Now we're gonna throw in the fried tofu pops to suck off all the juice. Then season to your taste with salt and pepper and a teaspoon of mushroom seasonings if you have. If you'd like to have something crispy to top up your whole tea bowl, you can dip some pieces of dried tofu skin into hot oil to turn them into crackers. Just dip into the hot oil and take out immediately because if you leave it in the hot oil for more than one second, they will turn very brown like this. That's not very nice. Before cooking the noodles, you can soak them in water for about 15 minutes. Insert a handful of noodles into the noodle strainer and submerge into the boiling water. Cook until it reaches your desired softness. Also blanch some bean sprouts for a few seconds in the boiling water. Transfer the noodles and bean sprouts into the serving bowl. Top with the stir-fried mushrooms and tofu. For more flavors and fragrance, add the fried leek and garlic and the stir-fried uh, minced preserved radish. These small items really make a big difference in your noodle bowl. After simmering the broth for about an hour, have a taste and season with more salt and mushroom seasonings. Then ladle the broth over the noodle bowl and garnish with some cilantro. You can also add some chili slices for more color contrast and extra heat. Finally top with a piece of crispy tofu skin. You can serve this with a platter of bean sprouts, garlic chives and Asian celery. A few chili and lime wedges. To serve, squeeze in the bowl some lime juice. Add the greens that you like. Have a sip of the flavorful broth. Enjoy the chewy noodles and the succulent tofu and mushrooms. Oh my! If you like this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel for more delicious Vietnamese dishes. If you're interested in more vegetarian dishes, you can click here um, for a whole playlist of all the vegan dishes that I made. If you decide to give this recipe a try, please share a photo of your food on Instagram, Facebook or Google Plus with hashtag HelenRecipes. I would love to have a look at your dishes and share it in my next videos, just like these excellent dishes that I have received recently. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.